<laughs> it was a fun event too. So that's that's too bad though. Like so many other events right now. Well, it's 7:49. Michelle joining us from Good Day State Line, back with our Munching Monday guest, Tony's. Of Winnebago. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Whitney. Yes, we have another Michelle in the studio. Michelle Princer from Tony's Winnebago. Um, before we get to the fried green tomatoes, you told me that there is no actual Tony at Tony's Winnebago. That's correct. <laughs> so if you ever call looking for Tony, Michelle's going to say they're not here and just <laughs> hang up on you. Michelle is the owner, of course. And she's been telling us about these great um, recipes using fresh ingredients because a lot of people are um, growing more gardens this summer than ever before, really. Yes, they are. So tell me about the fried green tomato process, because I'm sure there's a little bit that goes from going there to there. Um, so you take a green tomato. I um, cut off the top part of it and uh, dice that up for garnish, as you see in the salad here. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you just slice them, and you uh, soak them in seasoned buttermilk, um, and then flour, and then cornmeal. We actually are using um, Andy Hazard's um, corn cornmeal, um, which is grown right in Pecatonica, Winnebago area. Oh, cool. um, so then you just fry them. I use a cast iron pan. I showed that there. Yeah. Um, different ways that you could use fried green tomatoes. This is in a salad. Um, we can garnish with a little bit of um, bacon and maybe a buttermilk blue Let's cheese do it. Dressing. Let's garnish this. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. You're doing can you do this wrong? Not, it just no. depends on how much bacon you like. There you go. <laughs> so how long does it take to fry the tomato? Um, I would say probably about a minute and a half on both sides. Um, another great way to use a um, um, fried green tomato is as a BLT. Oh, so you okay. So do like a red tomato, green tomato, um, bacon, and I like that wheat. idea. Um, and then you can do them like an eggplant parmesan type of thing. So you take the breaded tomatoes as you see over there and... Um, oh, for sure put um, tomato sauce and mozzarella, put it over some pasta. So it's pretty versatile. It is. Mm -hmm. And green tomatoes, obviously, before they turn red. So like right around now, right? I've got some, I just picked that tomato this morning out of the garden next to the restaurant. Um, and you know, they're getting to be uh, softball size. <laughs> that's a good size tomato. So you have a garden right there. So that's how all these yes. fresh ingredients manage to come on the menu. Correct. Yep. Tell me about the corn salsa over there, because that doesn't look too hard. I feel like people could do that at home. Yep. Um, so we got this corn delivered today, uh, yesterday from the Booth Farms, and something kind of really pretty. It's an early corn. Okay. Um, the, the kernels are small. Uh-huh. Um, and I um, simply cut that fresh off the cob and then added um, everything you would salsa. So tomatoes, cilantro. Um, I used a milder um, green pepper, onion, lime, olive oil, salt and pepper. And you said that it's even easier than you think because you didn't cook the corn. I didn't. So um, this is just um, simply cut off and, and put in there. So. so no cook recipe right there, which Correct. when it's a thousand degrees outside, right, much right. like we've experienced recently, that's yep. kind of what you want to go uh, with. Now an interesting note is I thought, oh, you know what, this is part of the corn, so I'll see if we can't somehow use up the silk. Okay. And because it's always a little pain in the neck, you can't fry it and okay. then just eat it. <laughs> Not <laughs> just good. Just so you know. Uh, a little stringy. <laughs> Fried green tomatoes though, is super delicious. I'm going to just like pick this up and take a bite. Is that okay? That's perfect. All right. Oh, I'm going to take this whole plate home with me today. Perfect. Thank you, Michelle. You're Whitney. welcome. I'll bring you more corn fritter. I'm not bringing you any of these. <laughs> Star way. That's it's so good. I know. I, was, I already ate what you brought in here, Michelle. It was awesome. Super good. So All right. Good. Thanks so much. I want to go to our morning mug club question of the day. It's a fun one. You have to go to our Facebook page to check it out, though. When mom calls, what are you thinking? We have some fun responses to share with you.